Hello everyone. Today onwards we will be starting with the new disease conditions, current affairs, surgical conditions and we will be covering from the current affairs from this year which will be helpful in the UPSC, AIMS Norset, RRB and all the competitive exams because it is having the current affairs too. And after a few videos the UPSC and UPPSC students can uh, discontinue the video series because we will be starting with the all the disease conditions unless you are a medical science optional batch student for the UPSC. So to start with the series we have drug name called Lorlatinib. The brand name is Lorbina which is used in a non-small cell carcinoma of lungs. What it does is it crosses the blood brain barrier and it will inhibit the tumor mutation by inhibiting the ALK enzyme that is anaplastic lymphoma kinase. So among this lung cancer NSCLC 85% of the cases will be having the ALK positive that is approximately 70,000 people per year they get affected from this ALK positive cancer. So this lorlatinib will cross the blood brain barrier and it acts on the ALK and inhibits the tumor mutation. If we see the lung cancer, it is a leading cause of cancer death annually. And in that 85% case, cases are this NSLC only. Okay. So this drug is by Pfizer and which will be helpful in the prevention or treatment of lorla sorry NSCLC okay so next we have is antimicrobial resistance what is antimicrobial resistance the person will not be having any effect of the drug on his body or in on his microbes or on the disease because he has already taken the medication and he is resistant to that medicine because the microbe has already mutated and it is already resisting the drug. So if we see more than 5 million death per year we can see in the worldwide conditions. And in India if we see it is 10,43,500 deaths were because of antimicrobial resistant in the 2019. So if we see the causes what are the causes? Overuse of antibiotic drugs, not only in the human, but in the cattle, sheep, all the animals, birds. We will be having the chickens and there are people who will be eating other birds or the animals. So if we give the antibiotics to the animal, human or birds, so what happens is due to biomagnification, and bioaccumulation, the person with the dosage will be increased, the medicine content or antibiotic will be increased in the body, but at the same time, there will be mutation of the microorganism if you are taking over the count drug. So, the causes is overuse of antimicrobials in the humans, animals, and even in the plants. Okay, even in the plants. And what are the prevention strategy we can use? The normal hand hygiene, regular cleansing of all the all the uh, we say the formites and all the equipment what we use. And there should be clean the proper sterilization technique used in the healthcare medium, safe drinking water, effective sanitation, and the most is pediatric vaccines. The proper vaccination of the child will prevent this antimicrobial resistance. So, what are the challenges we are facing because of antimicrobial resistance nowadays? Is inadequate access to effective antibiotics. Since the resistance has already occurred to the antibiotics, now we need higher dosage, higher combination drugs. Okay, and there are uh, times where 
because of poor lab testing we will be failing to identify the microbes which are resistant and insufficient surveillance we are not finding the case which are resistant to the antibiotics so if we come across the vaccine the pneumococcal vaccine is very helpful in preventing the antimicrobial resistance or to to treat the antimicrobial resistance so this is about the antimicrobial resistance so the next one is climate change and brain condition so you must be thinking what climate has to do with the brain there are so much it has to do with the brain because there is a changes in temperature there is changes in the humidity because of the climate change and everything is related and which are interconnected the one thing we can see here is the brain condition so when the temperature increases or humidity increases there will be reduced brain functioning and there are chances of increased stroke migraines and alzheimer's disease if the temperature in increases which will impact the neural sensitivity because the neuron operates within a specific temperature ranges okay if we see the adaptation to the temperature and humidity the brain adapted towards 20 to 26 degrees celsius which will and next one is humidity where it needs only 20 to 80 percent humidity if less or if more there will be changes in the brain functioning and the person is taking the medication related to the brain condition if the humidity and temperature is increased or decrease it will affect the medicine absorption medicine functioning it will disrupt the body's ability to re regulate the temperature okay and the most common things now we are seeing is the heat wave because of heat wave there will be disruption in the sleep pattern there will be increased stroke and increased seizure okay and because of increase the climate change we can see the higher morbidity higher mortality rates so next topic is flu it is a very common disease common condition the flu it is caused by the influenza but due if we see the recent research findings we can see that the cattle host around three influenza a receptors which are also seen in the humans chickens and ducks okay and the major storage area is mammary gland that is a one more important because the people will be drinking the milk and if the virus is present in the mammary gland which will transmitted through the milk to the humans so humans also will get the conditions and what are the chances of spread that is through the contaminated milking equipment and the milk too and blood stream infiltration if there is a, a damage to the tissue if the blood stream is the damaged and it is connected to the mammary gland also damaged then there will be blood stream infiltration and in the virus can be transmitted and the one important preventive method is pasteurization there is three types of pasteurization that you will be we will be seen in the uh, microbiology we will be covering soon and this pasteurization will helpful in the prevention of flu transmission continuing with the ultra processed foods which are leading to the premature death if we see the recent news we know that recently some children who were drinking the stings are diagnosed with the liver diseases okay liver diseases or many other diseases are increasing and which are leading to premature death and those are related to this ready to eat meat packaged food sugary drinks dairy desserts this all are very dangerous to the health 
and with this we are ending today's video and tomorrow onwards we will be having the conditions like alzheimer's prone gene and there was a death due to kidney transplantation and the new dengue vaccine and many more conditions and we will be seeing all the topics soon in the upcoming videos thank you